So far, Travis County has received 73,175 doses of the vaccine. Okay, we looked into it. And as officials continue to move forward and immunize the vulnerable populations, our Candy Rodriguez checked in with the Texas Medical Association's COVID-19 task force to find out where do we stand and what exactly is the holdup here? It was just last month we were getting ready for what some have called the beginning to the end of the pandemic. This is the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Vaccines had been shipped and the arms of healthcare workers were ready. Today, we're a month in. How's it going? So, so it's been really busy here at the state and, and there's a lot of folks out there right now that want to try to find the vaccine and I know they've had challenges finding the vaccine. Uh, and that's just kind of part of this process. Dr. David Blakey, Chief Medical Officer for the University of Texas System and a member of the COVID-19 Task Force, says the state is facing a challenge, vaccinating those who fall under Phase 1B, people who are 65 years and older, or those with a chronic medical condition. We have about 30 million Texans, and this 1B group that the state decided to focus on because the data said that these are the individuals that are most at risk. That's a large number of people. That's about eight to nine million individuals. He says it's going to take some time to get through that group. Currently, the state receives around 320,000 doses of the vaccine each week. In Travis County, we're averaging 14,635 doses weekly, and there are around 130,000 seniors living in the county. Lakey hopes the latest strategy of creating hubs for large-scale vaccination distribution will help the vaccination process move forward faster. But it's going to be a while, uh, and, and that's you know part of the message is, is that there is that the need for some of that patience and continued prudent um, steps of wearing the mask and the physical distance. In Austin, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. Uh, here's something else that Candy says we should pass along. It's important to keep in mind some of those who do fall under that 65 years and older population, that category, they live in a nursing home or a long care facility and they would fall under the 1A plan. Yeah, now on Monday, Governor Greg Abbott said only a fraction of the vaccines set aside for long term care facilities have been used. Abbott says the latest data shows CVS and Walgreens are way behind. They've only administered about 15% of the vaccines given for these facilities. Here's a look at vaccinations over the past month across some of our biggest hospital systems. Ascension Texas says it vaccinated more than 15,000 of its frontline workers. Um, let's see, to date, it's probably provided more than 9,000 second dose vaccinations is what they tell us. Those over at Baylor, Scott and White say that they vaccinated more than 49,000 employees. St. David's did not provide numbers of its vaccinations. Live look outside here at 604 on this Friday morning 